sentences with spooky words. Roast words over flames on boards. The cauldron now is filled with a spell for all you kids to sing and tell. I know the grammar of English. Fish is one and many is fish. So bubble cauldron, bubble and froth with verb of flutter and noun a box. How much is the doggy in the window? Woof, woof. The one with the waggedy tail. Do, do, do. Quack, quack. How much is the doggy in the window? Woof, woof, woof. I do hope that doggy's for sale. <laughs> you seem to be in a very good mood today, Wiz. What's the matter? Richard, I'm going to ask you a question now. Why do you think it is the doggy in the window? Why can't it be a doggy in a window? There's something really wrong with you today, Wiz. If the song is, how much is a doggy in a window, how do we know which doggy in which window? The person who is asking this question in the song means a particular doggy in the window. But I always get confused about this. Sometimes we use a before a noun and sometimes we use the. But how do we know which one is correct? I think when we are not sure about what we are talking about, we use a. When we become sure of something, we use the. Is that right, Wiz? Absolutely right. Read this. I saw a lady walking down the road. She was looking very ill. Suddenly, the lady fell down. When the speaker was talking about a lady in the first sentence, it was just someone he saw on the road. By the time he spoke the third sentence, the speaker and us know that it was the same lady that he spoke about in the first sentence. I got it. I'll tell you something similar to this. I saw a boy riding a cycle. He's the boy who lives down the road. Good. Hmm. I saw a dog running across the road. It is the dog I see in the park every day. Now I think you people know the difference between a uh and the very well, don't you? These are articles. We know it. We learnt it in class to itself. Only we did not know why articles were important. Now we know that. I forgot to show you what I have brought for you. <gasps> wow, Wiz, yummy! Why so many toffees, Wiz? It isn't anybody's birthday, is it? No, I felt like getting you some toffees. Is it mine? Uh, uh, it's also his. And what about you, Wiz? Yes, it's hers, yours, and mine. It's ours. I don't think you ever give toffees without a reason. What is the reason? The reason is I wanted to use all these words and make you understand that these are pronouns. A few more than you learnt in your last class. Do you remember what you learnt in class four? Yes, I do. We learned that I, you, me, he, she, they, we are all pronouns. Hmm. Now we says that his, hers, ours, theirs, yours, mine are also pronouns. Quack, quack. Time to eat. This is my toffee and this is mine. These are our toffees, children. Bye. Let's see if we can remember what we have learnt. My, your, his, her, its, our and their are the English possessive adjectives used with nouns to show possession or ownership. 